Well, celebrated South Auckland duo at ease have just released their brand new album, A Mother's Love, which was inspired by their own much loved mother who sadly passed away two years ago. Names and Viz join us now. It is so great to have you here. Yes, thank you very much. It's lovely to be here. Thank you. It was, it was, this was a really, it was a surprise album, wasn't it? I mean, how do you keep something like this a surprise? Oh, man, we um, just, we're ready uh, to release music again, I guess. We, we took a little break, especially myself. Uh, we've been running the performing arts school, so Nains and his wife Bex uh, had been running the performing arts school, and uh, when mum passed away, I found it really hard to uh, teach the students and, and actually sing in general. Um, and I'd never been through grieving or, or mourning before, and, and our mother was always the one that taught us music from a young age. Mm. So. I've, I really had to take a break and it took me, man, two, two years. Uh, so I was really surprised when he came to me at the beginning <laughs> of the year and said, bro, I think I'm ready to um, get back into music. And he um, had this great idea to do this uh, beautiful album for mum. Mm. And, um, but we realised, you know, when he told me the deadline for it, which was Mother's Day, I'm looking at him going, hey, that's... Hey, you know, that's just a few months <laughs> yeah, ago, isn't so, it? Yeah. <laughs> you know, it all fit the surprise, I guess. Mm. And, um, you know, we're thankful that we got the album out on time. Uh, we did go over the recording side of it. Um, we missed the deadline by a couple of weeks. Uh, but thankful to Universal um, and all their hard work. Um, yeah. They managed to, um, uh, you know, pull this one out for us mm. and get the album out on time for Mother's Day as well as... Um, it's our mum's birthday as well on May the 12th. So Aww. it's a double whammy. Wow. That's Good the days. whole reason why we wanted it, but we didn't realise how hard it was to actually... Uh, record the album as well. So, mm. um, well, yes, yeah, especially when it's so emotional for you. And was yeah. that what was making it hard? That emotion. I, th I think it's all the songs that are actually on the album. They were songs that our mother taught us when we were young. So, um, everything kind of triggers. Uh, a memory triggers and and a whole lot of emotion as well. But I'm thankful that. There was healing during that process as well and, and doing all of these interviews and just knowing that yes. our mum's face is on, on the cover. Yeah. I should be know. so and proud of you, boy. Oh, yeah. yeah Definitely. Yeah. <laughs> Lovely. Um, you know, obviously your mum is probably the reason you got into music. Would that be true? Definitely. Yeah. I mean, uh, our upbringing, everything our mum did with us and our four wars at home um, was really special. And at the time, we, you know, we may not have enjoyed it. You know, we're just young kids in the 80s who are, you know, you got to get up, play your guitar and get up and sing. And, <laughs> oh, you know, and one of the, yeah. my mum's favourite things she used to do was um, when we had aunties and uncles and cousins come over or, or just anyone come over and visit, you know, she would sit them down and she'd say, OK, um, uh, my boys are going to get you ready and they're going to come and <laughs> put on a performance for you. And so we, we were brought up doing that, you know, um, and that's how our mum you know, kind of built the confidence in mm. us, um, you know, right from that age and, and getting into mm. music and singing today. So, you know. Do you feel your mum around you? Well, like, when you release this album, do you, like, feel Oh, definitely. I think, um, especially in studio special. time, you know, yeah. uh, recording the songs, you can feel mum there. But mm. um, I can also feel her joy, you know, when mm. we're out talking about her more and, uh, and all of that. Mm. And because this is really her legacy. Everything that we've done with our performing arts school in mm. terms of Saints Up Performing Arts mm. is our mum's legacy. Everything we, we've done there is every, everything she did with us in our mm. four wars growing up as kids. She was always so, our number one fan yeah. as well, and that's what brings us great joy as well, mm. uh, releasing this album and, and putting out something for our mum and for all mothers as well. Mm. You know, a lot of mums need to be praised uh, these days, and... Um, and we're happy to mm. be able to do this alongside and our And celebrate well. her. Yeah. yeah, and you know, look, over the years, I've known your voice for, uh, for a, long, a yeah. very long time. <laughs> and you still long. look the same. <laughs> yeah, thanks. It's the makeup, I think. Yeah. No, but, you know, I can remember the time when, you know, the Prime Minister said that she was, I think it was Helen Clark yes. at the time, said that you were her favourite New Zealand act. Yeah, that, that must have made your mum so proud. Definitely. Oh. I mean, mum's always been a Labour supporter. Yeah. You know, <laughs> whether they're good or not, she's still supporting them, you know, all the yeah. way. And, um, and, you know, that's rubbed off on us as well, you know. The, these days we're supporting Labour and it's all because of our mum. And mm. so she mum loved Helen the Clark, photo. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, she framed the photo of and Helen. I've got and the photo right now in my house hanging up in the uh, Oh, the that's wall, great. So it's Mother's Day can be really quite difficult, can't it, when you've mm. lost a mum? Like, it's, a, it's something that people with mums don't think about, but it can be hard. How was your Mother's Day and how did you, how did you get through it? Thankfully, we had a really special Mother's Day. Um, we have an older brother uh, as well, Lotumali Ilia Tuwao. And um, uh, 
he's he's the head of our family right now, and so him and his beautiful wife um, organised the birthday breakfast um, for mum on her birthday as well as Mother's Day, and so we just got together as a family and all our kids, and uh, we, we did exactly what our mum would do if she was alive, and. Uh, we do our little uh, prayer time. We sing all of our songs that uh, all the grandkids used to sing for mom. And, um, so it was a really special breakfast for all of us to be together that morning and to celebrate mum and celebrate Mother's Day as well. You, you know, and not, not, I'm not saying you weren't good back in the days, <laughs> but how has your music changed? Because I, I sense, you know, all this emotion and, mm. you know, the journey that you guys have been on as well has really made this quite a special album when I listen to yeah. it. Would you agree with that? Definitely. I I'll think for us, we're just thankful that um, as music lovers and as trying to stick to um, being true artists, mm. we record exactly what we go through in our life. Mm. Uh, we're not trying to, even with this album here, we didn't try and um, think of trying to compete with anyone or what, what the music was out there. Mm. This really, you can't even compare this album to the first and second. Mm. This album is definitely something to, yeah. you know, yeah. to, honor, um, to honor our mum and mm. especially during that time. So I'm, me personally, and, and I know my brother is, he, we all mourn differently, but we're thankful that uh, this is an album we can be proud of as well because we do feel our mum, mm. uh, and we really do. So, mm. And we're thankful to everyone that's that's um, supported, supported as, yeah. as well. And a lot of our Eddie's fans know, um, you know our style of music and stuff yeah. uh, from the first album and the second album. We're always singing about our own life experiences and, and stuff that um, our friends and family go through as well. And we're able to kind of push that out in music. And our heart behind it is that... Um, you know, people can relate to it and, you know, hopefully bless them in some way. Yeah. And, yeah. and so that's, you know, yeah. that's an what album, our mum instilled in us. An album from the heart, which yeah. is lovely. OK, yeah. quickly, just before you go, um, Saints Up, Performing Arts yes. Trust. Is that still going? How's of it course, rocking? we're in our 10th year. How do we get involved? <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> um, well, unfortunately, um, uh, you guys don't fit the age group. Oh, OK. Are you sure? <laughs> <laughs> uh, <laughs> you Wait, might be the same height as some of the kids, but I'm not. <laughs> <laughs> no, uh, but, um, you know, Saints Up, Performing Arts is, we're in our 10th year now. It's a mm. special program. It's a program that we've um, started for the community. Our heart has always been for our Māori and Pacific Island kids, um, you know, um, who uh, we lack being raised with that positive confidence. Mm. You know, a lot of us out there get raised in that negative confidence of having to be staunch and having to be hard and mm. all of that. Um, but it's a lot of those kids that are getting into trouble nowadays. There's a lot of those kids that can't even sit in front of a job opportunity you know, and, um, and, and be interviewed. So we want to build confidence mm. in kids. It's a confidence building course. Yes. Um, you know, the beautiful thing about it is it's people from all walks of life, kids from all walks of life. Um, we've had a lot of, um, um, you know, there's, there's the rich and the poor walking hand in hand, pretty much, yeah. but no one knows. The beautiful thing about it, kids don't discriminate. They no, don't know anything. They really don't. All they yeah. love to do is rock up to their class and have a good time and see other kids. Oh, yeah, you know, and it's an opportunity for parents as well to mix and mingle. Well, as well. that sounds yeah. amazing. Yeah. It's yeah. been so good talking to you both. Thank, oh, thank so you so much, much for stopping by. Beautiful. Now, the brand new Eddie's album, A Mother's Love, is out now. And don't go anywhere because these guys are going to be performing their single, You Make Me Smile for Us. Yeah, so good catching up with you, boys. Your mum will be so proud. You don't want to miss that performance. We heard them doing it earlier as a sound check, and it is beautiful.